Today we're going to discuss prickly pears or tunas. The proper name is Apuntias. Now, there are way more than 40 species. They can vary a lot from being densely spined to having no spines at all, depending on the species. They easily hybridize and they're native to Mexico and the desert southwest. Now, they are beautiful this time of year because the flowers and the new pads are growing and the flowers will bloom all day. Well, look at that. Look at how stunning that is this time of year. It's just an amazing plant in my opinion. Now, they do have really beautiful flowers here. Let's get up there and show them to you. There we go. And they can vary a lot in color. They could be yellow more kind of orangish in color but sometimes a really bright brighter yellow than this it's more of a darker yellow this variety uh, it's unknown I think it's a Barbary fig but I'm not sure I'm giving up trying to find out because the again these things hybridize and there are really so many different varieties now this will produce a red fruit really really sweet and it tastes great now, as a kid, we used to eat these a lot, and I learned the hard way that on these flowers here are, I believe they're called glow kids. See the little tiny spines below the spines? Man, they irritate your skin so bad. Some people burn them off, but if you get those onto your skin, you're hurting for days. We used to just, our, our fingers would itch. Oh, it's horrible. So definitely be wear the proper protection when you mess with this plant. Uh, they're really tiny bristles. Let's see, what else? Oh, we eat Nepales, which are wonderful. You can cook up these new young pads here. Scrape off the spines, cut them up, put a bit of garlic and oil, and man, it's wonderful. Several restaurants in nearby our house in our Southern California <clears throat> cook it. And you can buy it. It's wonderful. I like it a lot. I like to eat Nepales. So let's go check out some of the other varieties we have in our yard. But this one, I do really like the flower. And the fruit is red. Okay, well, let me go show you some more. All right, here's another variety in our yard. The flower is a bit more pink. And this one is a beast. I think it's also a Barbary fig or a hybrid of a Barbary fig because they're very similar. But these have longer, thinner pads than what you saw before. And you can just see this thing's monstrous. It's been here a long time in our yard. I'd say at least 40 years. And here's a few more that we have. No Paul Blanco on the right. And then these are two new different Apuntias as well. Well, I'm not sure about that one. But I find this one, it's interesting. I've seen them around. They're very long, not very spiny at all. And look at that, it's produced a flower already. So amazing. Amazing plants. Now, if you want to know how to propagate them, I would recommend just a nice, well-draining soil in a pot. I have a, quite a bit of pumice in there. And I stick it in the soil about that far. And look at that. It's very happy. I got these four months ago. All right, this spiny bugger is a Puntia quimillo. So now you can see the variability. Here's a fruit that was on it. Didn't quite develop, fell off. Probably because we had a lot of snail damage. Now you can see some pests or snails. They do like to attack this variety especially, despite the very, very large spines. So again, this is an Apuntia quimillo, and it produces a tasty red fruit. All right, let me go show you some more about pests, and let's wrap it up. All right, believe it or not, this is a cutting from the first plant I showed you, and I did it about seven years ago. But that yellow spotting is about the only thing you need to worry about. You don't really need to worry about watering them in Southern California once established, but you need to worry about this yellow spotting because it's called cochineal. And I don't see much on it this time of year, but it can get pretty bad. And here's a spot. And that's cochineal. Actually, 
is used to dye food or to dye uh, clothing and for some food coloring. So let me show you what this pest is. The ants love it here, the Argentine ants, but cochineal is really, really red. So you see they use this for a dye. It's so very interesting. Some people actually grow this and harvest it just for that dye. So cochineal. So this is a strange pest. It's very, very red when you exterminate it like I did to show you. So again, look it up, cochineal. And it's about the only thing that certain varieties of prickly pear are affected by. Especially this these really wide paddle cactus, the apuntias, are afflicted the worst. All right, there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. And get yourself a prickly pear or an apuntia. All right, take care. Dude, it's creepy.